Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Yes, I'm dressed as a cyclist, but I'm not going anywhere because I found out two things. First one, this is very sharp. And secondly, yes, I am that stupid. So guys, what happened? Um, I was trying to start the wheel bearing maintenance because after almost two years and uh, 11,000 kilometers or so, 6,000 plus miles, the front bearing on my prime wheels had decided to seize up and uh, emit sort of weird noises. These are the small bearings fitted in the front wheel. I actually managed to remove the bearings it wasn't that easy and I found a couple of instructional videos first of all the prime own ones where they show how to remove the axle they gently tap it and comes out straight away and um, maybe they were working on a new wheel but maybe if you have been using the wheels it's not going to become out that easy so I really suggest following and watching the videos of the free to cycle guy is extremely knowledgeable and I found out that with a bit of a initial persuasion and uh, much stronger persuasion I could get the axle out and the bearings out make sure you don't damage the surface of the shaft because yes it did appear that it requires some strong hammering to get it out and even if you use a good uh, interface between the metal and the axle still you may end up damaging the smooth surface so make sure that you will be then able to put the bearings back on when needed because again you don't want to get stuck with the bearings not fitting the axle again i can definitely feel that one of the bearings is seizing up i will open this up later and find out what happened to the bolts inside and i'm sure it's not going to be nice i cleared up the seating where the bearings are going to sit what now i wanted to do and i was in a bit of a rush because i don't have actually anything to push the bearings back in so i could not complete the job straight away so i should have just left it until i find the correct press tool to put the bearings back in place and i was trying to open this uh, new grease so i went up I found that it was um, closed usually this cup they do have a piercing on the other side I was disappointed and straight away I pulled out my Wenger Swiss Army knife I had this knife since I was maybe 12 uh, I was extremely careful all my life and uh, yes you can get to a point where you do have a moment of complete craze and I went in this way I managed to cut the plastic this side and stab in my own hands here so I end up waiting four hours on at the A&E because the the deep cut was not closing it's like a buttonhole cut because yes the um, stainless steel uh, from uh, Switzerland is quite sharp and I had it glued so the problem is that now I can't do this with my left hand I won't be able to cycle for a week or so and uh, but in all uh, fairness it could have been even worse and I should have used this because I was actually so proud when I got the knife that it also had the scissors because some of the cheaper models didn't have one and uh, yeah <laughs> guys I have had a complete madness moment I do prefer Wenger somehow to Victorinox they are I think on the same quality level but to me the Wenger always seemed better I don't know why uh, to complete the wheel bearing placement I will find something I got new bearings of course I will find something to press the bearings in place in a good way uh, free to cycle it does have its own technique with the uh, socket to push them in not using the classic 
press tool for the bearings. I will find out if it's worth to invest on a press tool for the bearings or just using hammering with a socket that covers exactly the diameter. What you don't want to do, of course, is pressing on the black part where the bearings cover is, otherwise you will end up ruining the bearings straight away. So guys, yes, <laughs> I think it's good to share my experience, even if in this case they are not that good. I accept that I'm very stupid and I'm paying the consequences for it. I hope to see you on the next video, full healed up and uh, out on the road. Stay safe and uh, thank you for watching. See you to the next video. Ciao.